So groups are the main way you will organize your subscribers in MailerLite. You will use them in forms, in regular campaigns or automations. And let me show you how this looks. If you go to subscribers, you will see a whole list of all your subscribers right over here. Now, if you go to groups, you might just see one group if you just opened your account. If you have been using MailerLite for a while, you'll see all these different groups. And this is basically a way to tag or label your subscribers in different ways. So in MailerLite, groups work like tags. And if you send to multiple groups at the same time, and if you have the same subscriber in multiple groups that you're sending your email or newsletter to, then that subscriber will only get it once. So never worry about that. Now to create a new group, just click the button here give it a name and click create and here it is sometimes if I have a lot of groups and I'm looking for the specific group I like to just use control F and just find it right over here here's one group with the word new in it and here's another one new members that I created earlier on now whenever you add new subscribers if you go to all subscribers and click add subscriber and you can see how to use all these in another video but I'm just gonna go really fast and add myself here before adding him or her here you can use this place to add your subscribers you can either add them from the list right over here these are all my groups or you can create a new group even newer group right over here and add the person to that group and you can add him or her of course to other groups so now this person is tagged with the group even newer group success course gift now same thing with forms if you go to forms and create a create a new form in this case let's do a pop-up you will give it a name save and continue and the first thing you will do is choose a group, right? So let's choose an even newer group and save and continue. So in this case, every time a new subscriber comes into your subscriber list, he or she will be tagged with that group. In this case, it will be the, the newer group I just created, right? Of course, I'm not going to go into creating a, a form. You can watch another video for that, by the way. All the, all the other videos I'm talking about, I will leave them in the description of this video. Now, if you go to a campaign, and if you're creating a new campaign, giving a name, new campaign, next content, drag and drop editor, and after you create your newsletter, you click, of course, done editing, and then again, here, here are your groups, right? Here's the new group and even newer group. Of course, this won't work in this case because we have zero subscribers, so this will not get sent. But this is another place where you will be using the groups. And of course, in the automation, when you create a new workflow, one of the most used triggers in this case is when a subscriber joins a group. And again, you choose the group, in this case, let's use that even newer group we just created and let's click save. And then later, of course, you build out your whole automation. Please see another video for that. But in this case, when the subscriber joins this group, he will probably join it using one of the web forms we built on earlier on. And when he joins that group through that web form, he will get this whole automation. So that was a quick overview of the groups feature and how it relates to using MailerLite. I hope you, it has been helpful. If you have any questions, just please ask in the description, in the comments for this video, and I'll be glad to help you out with that. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a wonderful day. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon, you can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, 
And of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.